and Fiscal Responsibility Commission. Various revenue-generating agencies attended the one-day interactive session, including the Comptroller General of Customs along with his management team. Senate President Ahmed Lowen, while understanding the various challenges involved in generating revenue, believes more efforts should be put into relieving Nigeria's debt profile. This, he stated, along with infrastructural development, are key in their progress. For us to develop as a country, we have to develop our infrastructure. There is no way we can run away from that and expect to make any serious and meaningful and sustainable progress. Therefore, the options are there for us to generate our revenues internally and, of course, be prudent. And I like to subscribe to the idea expressed by the Federal Minister, the Minister of Finance, by their national planning, that maybe some agencies of government that might have outlived their usefulness should be matched to reduce cost of running government. But essentially, the deficits would have to come from somewhere since we have not been able to generate sufficiently. And we borrow funds both within and outside the country. The Comptroller General of Customs, Colonel Hamid Ali, retired while referring to the Finance Act 2022, cited how the law did not state the scope of the taxes and levies under the responsibilities of the Federal Inland Revenue Service in particular, therefore affecting Nigeria Customs Service's revenue collection. The law states in Section 61A, that's the amendment, that this act and the laws listed in the first chapter to this act shall take precedence over any other laws with regards to the administration, assessment, collection, accounting, enforcement of taxes and levies due to the federal government or federation of Nigeria, except in cases that tax or levy is a subject of litigation in a court of competent jurisdiction. And if the provisions of any act, of any other law, including the enactment in the first schedule, are inconsistent with the provisions of this act, the provisions of this act shall prevail and the provisions of the other, that other laws to the extent of the inconsistency should be void. Which to me and our understanding of this is that all other laws, which are laws that mandate us to collect, if they are inconsistent with this, then they are voided. That means we do not have the responsibility to collect. So, Mr. Chairman, I'm a Senate President, if we do not have the responsibility to collect, then what are we going to discuss here? The conclusion is that this act is confusing. And if stakeholders decide to take leverage of this, they can decide to say, we are not supposed to collect duties and levies. And therefore, they only pay to FRS, and that will bring complete total chaos in this country. Some senators in attendance had this to say. For over 140 years, assessment and collection of import duty has always been the responsibility of the Nigerian Customs Service. So it will be a misnomer if an act of National Assembly is trying to take away that job from Customs and giving it to another agency. I think we should immediately amend that act so that uh, it will be in line with the normal tradition. I want to encourage everyone or every agency to please apply technology in your revenue generation. It's more efficient, it's more transparent, it's more durable and it's also stress-free for you to generate an account for what you have generated. The Senate President, Ahmed Lowen, while acknowledging the issues raised by the Comptroller General of Customs, cited that there might be a need to amend the act and present it soon after. Abdul Karim Zermi, NCBN, Abuja.